Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're friendly, they're well behaved, and they're sober. They're friendly. They're a bunch of really great guys. We don't know that. They're well behaved. They're really polite. We don't know that. They're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. You wear earplugs. So get your dad a pair of earplugs. I can't tell my father to wear earplugs. What's wrong with a little noise? It'll be like a party. My pop is not the partying type. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes. I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yeah, she's really yes, but... Musician. But what? But it's still impossible! I promise Miss Strickland. I promise Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no! Think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. Ooh, that's harsh. Come on, man. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Oh, yeah. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, you uh, please no, no, meet sorry. you. The feeling is mutual. Yeah, I think you can kind of tell there's going to be something going on between those two. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Now all we got to do is serve that subpoena, and we're off to build your rocket drill. And get my patent. Yeah, your uh, patent. Yeah, sort of my awful tasting joke there. Actually, I'm not going to make one of those jokes ever again, so... I think you can tell there's still something we haven't done yet, which is seek out, um, Artie, so, so let's sort that out. Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this look like, a hunting lodge? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah, I can't remember how to do this. Ah, oh, no. uh, the hats, of course. Yeah, sorry. Uh, completely forgotten about that bit. Knowing that there's like this big thing. You can't go into certain places, like in between. So, this is where Einstein comes in handy again. Arthur's hat. Hey, Arnie. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey boy, can you find the guy who belongs I could have done to this, this hat? Earlier, but I just want to get the soup stuff out of the way. Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Fight! Huh, deja vu. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! <laughs> Why tell him to shift? I think that's a good giveaway for later. Arthur's subpoena. Tape recorder. Let's throw in the subpoena and see what he says. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. All right. I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. Oh yeah, sorry. Hey Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We're family. I'm your grand... uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah! <laughs> Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. 
He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. Till the boss says so. Hmm. Well, oh, I think I know just the person to... Sadly, the bakery's closed, so... Back we go. Earlier in there, there so. and I think obviously there's a glitch on my phone. Ugh. So, you know, I've been playing this for nearly uh, an hour, at least 45 minutes straight. I think. Anyway, let's approach him to what happens. Well, well, look who's back! They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, matches! Too high, I can't climb either. Now. I'm down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! I don't think they're in a talkative mood right now. Don't make me angry, Smucko! Get now. down here and... Now, what I hadn't realized was that I did it several times. It was exactly the same each time before I realized you have to use the tape recorder. Face the music! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Yeah, that's very lucky this is exactly as well as this You can't get away that easy. Nobody puts one over on Kid Tannen and lives to tell about it. Maybe You're I dead meat, twerp! Better right start on. composing. We refer to some peace. Your epitaph now, because yeah. I'm going to carve it into your face. I don't think so. In bullets! Get down here! Einstein! I said it's much more useful in this game. Play off! Get away from that crazy nut! Go, go away, dog! We're busy here. Go on, scram! Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! They're pretty. Let's see what happens when we do it again, just to see what, um, what he says. I'll, I'll skip through some of the amazing dialogue. Hey! Hey! <laughs> I thought it's exactly the same as before. Really. And of course, uh, Emmy just stands there like a lemon. Damn it! Tiny. Look out, boss. It's it's that crazy mud again. I can't believe you lost him again! <laughs> yeah, you can tell there's a little bit of a music from that. But was Marty like sighing then? I don't know. Anyway, let's head back. Ooh, a random person. Wait for me, random person. No, I don't mind. Hey guys. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit silly, but wouldn't say that much for them to follow this follow me around. So let's uh try the buzzer. What now? What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! Who's he calling scrawny? You, mate. You're scrawny, you come on, face it. You're better him, yeah. Walks back. It's a bit weird. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! 
Right away, boss! I'm surprised that Emmett doesn't really question it. Maybe there uh, are tape recorders in the 1930s. Where's Kid? Uh, don't you worry a pretty little head about that. Hey! <laughs> uh, Arthur! Oops. Hmm. Maybe I should have led with the subpoena. Of course, yeah. Sorry, I forgot about the subpoena. I don't know what it is. That's a bit... What now? Kid! Right away, boss! Ah, uh, where's Kid? Where's Kid? Now we're gonna see this next bit. When he gets a subpoena, he's gonna have a seizure, so let's see what happens. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks! A subpoena? And, uh... Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid Artie. Holy cats, what am I gonna do? Holy cats. I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I know. But of course, he does have reason to be afraid because of what we heard Kid say earlier. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! It's really good to see Doc's original lab. As he had it when he was a kid. I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Are you sure this is going to work? I like this next bit. Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction! Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Yeah, with... It'll be really irritating if we have to remember all that. Well, we do. It's gonna be a test of uh... Emmett? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know oh, I'm engaging in acts of scientific like exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You attend to the reaction, I'll try to get rid of him! Attend to the... what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late! The reaction's already started! Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. Starting. Uh, coming, father! So father! Don't you father me, child! <laughs> this may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. It's a lot easier when you are. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Now, hopefully we'll get to my favorite. Maybe I could just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Emmett, get back here! Oops. 
You're going to find out. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? <laughs> I guess we have late room. <laughs> <laughs>